guys, it's me, QP83. I am going to review a doll for you today that I've been looking for for months. Every time Mattel announced a new Ever After High doll in this past few weeks, I've always been like, that's great, but I still need Lizzie Hearts, or that's wonderful, but I still can't find Lizzie Hearts. Even at Toy Fair, I was like, to the rep, do you know where Lizzie Hearts is? Because she hasn't been in any of my stores for the upteen month she's been out. But I finally have Lizzie Hearts, so I'm excited. My Ever After High collection is excited, and it, right now everything is rosy. This is the first version of her, um, her basic doll. She is adorable, totally worth the wait. I think she may be one of my favorite Ever After High dolls ever created. So she just has long black hair. On the top here you'll see she has a, a curl. It's sprayed down a lot. She has some red highlights that are on both sides of her black hair here. There's a weird texture to her hair. It's not completely sprayed down. It's definitely a little sprayed on the sides here and it's a little frizzy down at the bottom. But overall, I love the style. I love the look. The red and the black look great together. Her crown is stuck in with tabs. We'll go to her body. She's actually the same size as Maddie. So she's the smaller of the dolls, which I love. Lizzie has a plastic embellishment here. And then we go into her outfit, which is awesome. So we have the uh, like the chessboard esque pattern here, black, gold, and like a maroonish sort of red are the colors that they're playing with. They look fantastic. Her tights are equally as great, so they're black with pink hearts on them. Very cool. They're see through to, um, to an extent, so it's kind of like fishnets. And then her shoes are quite nice as well. So we have here some nice like raspberry red shoes which look really good with the outfits. I love the small details Mattel is putting into the Ever After High dolls. They're just, they're doing really smart things with Ever After High. So here's a thing that some of you will love and some of you will hate. She has molded hands that are in black. So her hand here, it's not a glove or anything, it's definitely just a black hand. Comes with a purse. This is what bothers me though. Her purse does not open can't do anything with it. It's literally just molded plastic. I don't like purses that are just molded plastic. They're kind of useless. So I do wish that this could actually hold things. Lizzie has earrings. She also has two bracelets. They're just in black. They match the gloves, kind of like an extension of the hands to make it look like a glove. And of course we have her face. Her face is gorgeous. I love it. So she has greenish sort of eyes here, heavy, heavy eye makeup, defined eyebrows, and then there's the big heart on the side of her face, which makes her look adorable. I didn't know if I was going to like the body art on her, on her face, but the heart is fantastic. And then of course she has bright red lipstick to go with the entire look. Lizzie has joints where you would expect, she has them in the shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip and knee area. Her head moves well, it holds poses well. But overall, I think this doll is fantastic. One of the best things to hit ever after high since the line began. This is the second version of Lizzie Hearts. Now, this is the story. I went and after months of not finding her, there was a sale at Toys R Us and I said I'm just gonna buy the second version even though I don't like her as much, just so I have a Lizzie Hearts in my collection. And then, three days later, She's in the store. So my mom lucked out because I don't need this one anymore. So it's now going to her collection. But I wanted to show you the difference between the two dolls. Now I will say this book, fantastic. I love it. It has a picture here in the back for photography. You have the spine in the book, which you could also use for photo shoots. Then you have the front, which allows her to peek into you know the world outside of this, this fantastic little display case. So you open it, and you'll see, just like a book, this is her room. She has all the fun stuff there, um, and it, inside here is a built-in stand. So you don't have to worry about her flippy flopping throughout the book. We're gonna put that down there. This is the second version. Now, you'll see a few key differences. Her highlights are different. Her hair is definitely a little different. 
This doll has highlights on the side of her head, not going down, but just back. She has a ponytail over here. This um, lovely little headband that she's wearing is, it's roses and a crown, essentially, and it is also held in with plastic tabs. She's wearing a very basic outfit in this release. It plays with the same colors though. It plays with the gold, it plays with the red. You'll see a very similar um, neck ornamentation here. Same sort of body, same size. Now she does have normal hands, so if these black hands bug the heck out of you, she does have just normal plain white hands. They don't have that gloved look effect. She does not wear earrings. She doesn't even have earring holes, so if for some reason you wanted to give her earrings, you'd have to do that yourself. She has a gold bangle on. Um, nothing going on in the tight area. She also has red shoes that have lots of roses. The theme for this one, I think, was definitely playing on the roses aspect, as opposed to the original, which played on all the aspects of Lizzie Hart's character. As far as the makeup goes, it's essentially the same makeup. Uh, she is a deeper red in terms of lip color, more like a like a blood rose sort of color. Her eyes have more brown to them as opposed to the dark, dark, like thick lashes. The hearts are similar but different. So this one has a darker heart than this one. I don't know if that's factory or if it was on purpose or who really knows with Mattel at some points, but this is definitely a little darker than that one. Um, I like both faces. I think both faces are really nice. The thing that lets me down on the second version is the lackluster hair and the outfit. Now what you'll also notice with her hair is that there's some pink in there too. I feel like they didn't need to introduce pink into this doll. There's enough, like with the red and the black, that's such a great contrast that they didn't need the baby pink. What do you think of Lizzie Hart's? How long did it take you to find her? Because like I said, it took me months to end up with these two. Um, share your thoughts down below. Do you have a favorite? Um, do you like the first version? Do you like the second version? Let me know. You can check out my blog, Confessions of a Doll Collector's Daughter. You can check out our Facebook page as well. And I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Bye!